Hi, my name is Lieutenant Gary Aswalt, and today I'd like to welcome you to a tour of the latest remake in Modern Warfare 2019, Petrov Oil Rig. Oh wait, this, this isn't a remake? This is just another map based off of that MW2 mission that's completely separate from the MW3 map that no one remembers because it was impossible to follow how to get DLC maps in that game? Huh, what a weirdly specific mistake to make. And speaking of mistakes, Oil Rig is a 10v10 multiplayer map for some reason placed into 6v6 modes, located somewhere off the coast of... Hoth, I guess. Like we mentioned, the map is loosely based off of the mission The Only Easy Day Was Yesterday from the MW2 campaign, in Infinity Ward's newest attempt to make us forget about wanting the rest of that game remastered as well. The level is full of tight corridors and corners, with more opportunities to flank than an open casting call at your local butcher shop. In fact, I would suggest that when you get shot on this map that you simply jerk your controller randomly in any direction, like you're spinning the Wheel of Fortune, and wherever your character lands, watch that direction, because putting any logic over where you expect the enemy to come from is just downright not what this map's all about. The good news is that with so many random and otherwise pointless routes, you can very easily get lost and tire yourself out if you're suffering from insomnia, and because the map is so pointlessly large for regular playlists, you can get away with chasing your tail for probably over half the game before even a teammate finds you and asks if they can join in too. In fact, it's so big that you shouldn't even bother calling in a Wheelson, because mankind itself will run out of fuel before you find even one person. Thankfully, if or when you get lost, this map has introduced some brand new colors to the palette of modern warfare, like blue, red, and yellow, to quickly tell the player where on the map they are. For instance, the green denotes each team's spawn, while red tends to be in the middle area. If you see blue, then that means that you're probably inside, and yellow means that you're within three seconds of being snuck up on from a direction that you assumed was a locked off door. Oil Rig also reintroduces us to the true protagonist of the game, shipping containers. Because I swear to god, they've reused this asset more times than they have price at this point. Oh, there's also this super weird radio static that they've decided to add into the soundscape. I guess to bring back memories of children eating their Xbox Live mic while calling you an F-wording other F-word. And personally, I think that's actually in the pro column. You know, I've really been waiting for a bit of nostalgia to come to this game. Shame that it took almost 10 months. Hmm. But regardless of all that I mentioned, Oil Rig still gets a big old thumbs up from me. Because at least it isn't Suicidal Harbor. And that'll do it for this tour. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please exit through the gift shop, where we're offering a free tire rotation with every oil change. Better jump on it soon, it's only available for the next hour, and we don't pause the clock while in the lobby.